the day is here, everybody. The day is here that we... Illumination has released the official trailer for Despicable Me 4. Yes, Despicable Me 4. That is releasing this summer. I am very excited for this fourth installment. For the Despicable Me franchise. And... I can very well say... I am, again, I'm very w excited for this fourth installment for this franchise. And the trailer starts very cool. Are very interesting because Groove's coming back from getting groceries. And he sees the girls and Lucy. And he's saying that something is missing. And lo and behold, they got a new baby. Yep. They actually have a fourth kid. One of the biggest surprises, probably, to a lot of people, I'm assuming, is, yeah, they now have a forced kid. Which, technically, I guess it's not a surprise as well, because, you know, now that, with, I'm assuming that Lucy would have gotten pregnant sooner or later, right? But, yeah, just to say a forced kid, as they refer as Gro Jr., and it's kind of funny, though. It's kind of funny just going back to that saying before when he was... Because I was kind of wondering, too. But just saying, Gru Jr. as... Again, I'll just refer to as well. And apparently Gru Jr. just loves Lucy. And he it doesn't... Gru Jr. just doesn't want to admit that he loves his daddy, Gru. Because <laughs> he just gives a mean face to Gru and a happy face to Lucy. And then... Ramsbottom <laughs> comes, you know, from Despicable Me 2, and a little bit in Despicable Me 3, and he came to say that Gru and his family's lives are in danger because of this new threat, this new villain that apparently is getting revenge for Gru, to Gru and his family, that apparently escaped from prison, and they're having to go to this separate house, and of course we get some jokes as well, like one of the minions getting stuck in the vending machine and some of the minions are slapping his butt. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's minion lore. That's minion jokes. And again, quite interesting though, especially this kind of attempt too, that it's just very funny though. And again, I just really love how this trailer is and I'm very excited for this movie. And the, yeah, I just love how the end of the trailer does too. Like, uh, again, this is really exciting. I'm actually very looking forward to this. I'm surprised we actually didn't see Drew in the trailer, right? We didn't see Drew. Because, again, remember in the end of the third movie, Drew managed to escape, or, well, snuck, snuck off with Gro's car or plane and some of the minions with him, too. And... I'm sure that Drew is going to have some big of a impact in this movie. But yeah, I definitely want to let y'all know that I really am looking looking forward to this fourth installment. And may I remind y'all, the last Despicable May movie, which is the third one, it came out in 2017. And you know how many years that was? Six years ago? Yeah, six years ago. <laughs> Six years ago, since the third movie, and now we are getting the fourth movie. But I'd like to know, again, what is y'all's opinion on the Despicable Me 4 trailer from Illumination? And are y'all looking forward to this? Gru and his families, and a new baby as well. A new kid joining the family of Gru and Lucy and the girls. And this new threat that we have never seen before. Like, I am very excited for this. I always, I always look forward to the Despicable Me movies. And this one, I am definitely looking forward to. It definitely looks promising. I could definitely say it looks very promising. But, again, that's just my opinion. All of y'all have y'all's own opinions. So, yeah, I'd like to know what y'all think. Catch on